We'll go ahead and get started. First question, Daniel Lerner. Kelly, it seemed like second chance points really killed you guys tonight. Um, what can you do better uh, going forward to stop that from happening? Yeah, um, you know, just a complete, complete team effort on the glass. Uh, you know, they, they got some big bodies out there. You know, you're gonna have to gang rebound. Sometimes just tip it away. Um, but we we have we got to make a more concerted effort. You know, especially in a game like that to you know to make sure we shore that up and give ourselves a, an opportunity. Is some of it just about positioning and and maybe having some of the younger guys know where they should be on those rebounds? Um, you know, a little bit. You know, some of the long ones. You know, it's tough because you know they had some big bodies down low that were. You know, getting a lot of rebounds, and you know, guys were trying to run in and, and help with that, and then they would miss long. Um, you know, it just it just it was kind of a you know a flurry and a storm of things that that kind of accumulated into into that that night. But um, you know, we we can do better. Um, you know, as a, as a whole and a unit, and uh, uh, I think we will be. Jonathan Fagan. We've talked a lot about all the comebacks to having chances in these games when down 20 something, but after a while, is it difficult not to just get dejected when there's some of the bumps in the road along the, the way of a game? Yeah, I mean, it's tough, uh, you know, digging yourself a hole, you know, trying to get out of that every single time, uh, you know, it's going to be really tough. Um, you know, obviously they, they played well and, you know, that's off to them, but, you know, we just can't, you know, put ourselves in that position, you know, time and time again. And um, you know, we just got to come out and be and play better, be better as a, as a unit. Along those same lines, then, when you went over and you talked to Kevin in between the third and fourth quarters a little bit, was that to pick him up, or what kind of stuff were you able to say at that time? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously, a young guy is frustrated. Um, you know, he wants to do, he wants to play well, he wants to do great things, and uh, you know, he's been great for us. You know, since I've been here, he's been. You know, always plays with energy, you know, made plays, you know, rebound, knock down shots, energy, you know, getting back defensively, blocking shots that I, I've never seen, you know, the caliber of blocks he has off, you know, one foot, two foot, left hand, right hand, second jump. You know, he has a, you know, unbelievable spring in his step. And, uh, you know, he was kind of, you know, frustrated, you know, coming over to block a shot. And, you know, obviously a guy will, you know, get a rebound on the other side, his man. Um, and I just told him, you know, keep doing your job, you know, keep doing your job every single time. And, uh, you know, that's how we're going to get better as a team. You know, we're going to, if you keep, if everybody keeps doing their job, um, you know, and, and we stack those over and over and over again, you know, that's when we're going to get better. So, you know, I told him to, you know, keep his head up, you know, keep playing, um, you know, enjoy the game and, and just, just keep doing your job to the best of your abilities. And, you know, I think he did that. I'm sorry, were you talking about KJ? Martin. Yeah, okay. Uh, because I could tell what you were saying. You were talking about KJ. I was asking about Kevin Porter Jr. Oh, I thought uh, you were talking about KJ. No, but that's good because that's interesting. That And so you also went over and talked to uh, Kevin Porter Jr. In, right after the third quarter, and he went and sat down, and you went straight to him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ke Ke Kevin was struggling too a little bit. Um, you know, to find his game and a flow and a rhythm. Um and you know, he's been really good for me. He's had some unbelievable games since I've been here. I mean, his first game in Minnesota, he was, you know, out of this world. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, being a young player, I told him, you know, you know not everything's going to go right. You know, not everything's gonna, you're going to have nights like this. You're going to have tough nights where things don't go well. But, you know, keep impacting the game in different ways. You know, keep making the right play. You know, keep moving on to the next play. Defensively, you know, stay with it. Um, you know, keep, keep putting that effort in. And um, you know, I told him, you know, don't change your game. Um, you know, he, I think he had a couple shots on, on the wing um, that he would have taken in, in, in other games and other circumstances. And, you know, just keep playing. You know, keep your head up. And, you know, I, I know it's easier said than done. You know, I've been there when you're, you know, you miss five, six, seven shots and you feel like nothing's happening. You, you kind of shy away from the next one. But, you know, he's, he's at a a skill level, he's got a skill level and talent where, um, you know, he makes one, you know, he can make four, five, six in a row and, you know, change the outcome of the game. And, you know, that's what we need him to do is, is do that. And I told him, you know, just, you know, stay with it and, and, and don't change your game. Just keep playing. And, uh, you know, we, we're all behind you. We all support you and, um, you know, you know, stick with it and, you know, keep, keep your spirits high. 
Yeah, sorry to ask you to answer that one twice. Uh, no worries, man. I mean, it's, you know, it's, <laughs> thanks. You know, especially with these young guys, I mean, um, you know, they're they're in the opportunity right now to to play and learn and grow and get better. And um, you, know, you got to know it's not all glitter and gold. You're, you're going to run through some rough patches, some bumps, um, but you can learn and grow and you know get better from from every single opportunity. And you know that's you know what they're here for right now. Thank you. Yep. Brian Bearfield. Kelly, how tough is it playing against a player like Jokic? Not only from an offensive skill standpoint, but just how big and physical he is. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, we I, I did a terrible job with him tonight. Um, you know, they kind of played free and easy. We probably should have pressured him a little more. Um, but but yeah, he's a big body. Um, you know, super skilled, and it, it's tough because he can you know take you inside, outside, pass, put the ball on the floor. Um, he's got all the footwork, all the fakes. Um, and then, you know, when he gets in the lane and, you know, you're kind of trying to stay disciplined, you know, on feet and fakes and all that kind of stuff, he's still, you know, whatever he is, seven something with you know, long arms and a great touch. Um, and then, you know, in their offense, they got all the cutters and everything that, you know, trying to shore up at the same time. So, um, you know, he, he, was, he was really good tonight. And, you know, he's, he's been good for, for a long time in this league now. Chris Gardner. Kelly, do you think some of your teammates are pressing right now and getting frustrated? They're, we should press, you said? No, are they getting, are they pressing a little bit, trying, trying to do too much? Um, you no, know, I, don't, I don't think so. I think at times, um, you know, when you're, when you're losing, things aren't going well, you know, it's, it's frustrating. And um, sometimes, you know, guys kind of, I don't know if you want to use the word press or, um, you know, kind of take, you know, you know, take a, a bad shot or, a, you know, try and take, go one-on-one -on -one, um, every now and then. But I, I don't think we're, you know, we're, we're pressing too much and I don't think we have that. I think, you know, we want, we like each other. We want to play well together. Um, you know, it's just kind of building that chemistry and, and making sure that we're, you know, playing with each other and together on both ends. Thanks. Adam Spolin. Uh, with what you were just talking about with the younger guys, they for almost their entire careers have been the best player on the floor whenever they've been on a floor. Can it be sometimes really difficult to accept that there are guys who are going to be just as good as, as them and, and even better on a lot of nights? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's different. You know, I think everybody kind of who's at this level kind of grows up as you know, being the best player on the team or on the floor or in a game. Um, but it's different. You know, once you get to the level, you got a lot of talented, talented players who can do a lot of different things. And, you know, sometimes it is a little bit of adjustment. Um, and, you know, the guys who, you know, can adjust and, um, you know, kind of adapt, um, you know, you'll see them be super successful in this league. And, you know, the guys who, who can't as well, um, you know, kind of be, you know, a little more up and down. But, you know, I think, you know, we got guys, young guys in here who, who want to want to learn, want to grow, want to be good and, um, you know, are, are doing the best of, the, of their abilities right now and, you know, trying to find a niche and, and what they can do to, to impact winning. Do you remember what that experience was like for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, obviously for me, you know, it was a little different. I mean, obviously in, um, you know, in high school, I was, you know, uh, quote unquote star, you would say. And then you know, when I got to Gonzaga, I didn't really play a lot my first couple of years and then I redshirted. So I knew what it was like not to be, you know, that, that guy. Um, you know, I had a good year my last year and then kind of went, went on to here. So, um, and when you get here, you know, you want to make an impact. You, you want to, you know, make a statement. You want to be good. You want to help the team. And, um, you know, sometimes it's hard to, to do that, you know, quickly and efficiently. And, um, you know, I think sometimes that's a little bit of a struggle with, with younger guys. But, you know, once you can find, you know, that role and that niche and, you know, carve out that, you know, thing that, that you can bank on to help, you know, your team and leave a positive impact on your team, um, you know, that's the kind of engine you get behind and, and ride. We'll take three more. Jonathan Fagan. What did you think when you saw who the Rockets were playing April 19th? Yeah. Um, 
yeah, it's a good opportunity. Um, you know, I look forward to it, look forward to being back there. Um, you know, another opportunity to go out and play, play a basketball game in this league, you know, that we're blessed to do and wake up every single day and do. Um, I mean, for me, it's, you know, go out there and try and win a game. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. No cake? No cake? Uh, probably not. We'll, we'll see, though. Thank you. Zach Allen? Hey, hey, Kelly. So so far, how have you enjoyed your fit with the Rockets so far, man? You no, know, it's been good. Um, you know, it's been different for me, you know, coming from Boston and then Miami. Um, you know, just, just a different role. Um, but it's been a great opportunity for me to, you know, to go out there and play and, you know, help these young guys and help this, you know, this team, you know, in a different way than, you know, my role was in Miami. And, um, you know, just... You know, be someone these you know these young guys can lean on and talk to and, and and grow with and you know for me just go out there and you know try and try and help us you know in a po and leave a positive impact on the floor and on this on this team and um, you know I've, I've enjoyed it you know we have a great group of guys you know a great staff um, you know everybody's been super welcoming and um, you, know, you know I'm blessed to play for you know my third franchise in this league in eight years and you know it's been it's been a you know good one so far. And last question, Ali Kambajani. Hey, Kelly. Um, it seems like since that first game y'all played last week against Phoenix, you've been more matched up against those bigger guys, bigger bigs, and Christian has not. What does it allow your defense to do, and uh, how how well do you think has fared so far over these last few weeks? Um, yeah, I mean, it's... You know, it's different. Um, you know, obviously it, it allows us to, you know, to have Christian, you know, kind of roam more and block shots and, and switch and do some do some different things. Um, so he doesn't have to, you know, keep banging, you know, inside with, you know, big body five get five men. Um, but, you know, I think you know, obviously, you know, we haven't, you know, haven't won a bunch of games, so I don't know how well it's going, um, but, you know, it, it, we're just out there, you know, trying to implement the, you know, the game plan the coaches give us, um, you know, whatever that is. And, you know, right now they think that, you know, that's the, the matchups that, you know, best suits us. And, um, you know, we just keep going with that and keep trying to get better every single day. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate y'all.